Good morning, all. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Great. Good morning. You are starting your reading club with prayer. Blessings from our Guru, Dr. Prasul Vijay Kursos, who made this divine science and combined with modern science to make homeopathy easy like mathematics. Jai Anuman, Jai Homeopathy, Om Vijay Karayana. We are in the journey of reading practical part of Organa by Dr. Samuel Anuman, as well as we are reading the workshop conducted by Dr. Dr. Vijay Karsar in 2002 at Mahabaleshwar in the form of book verbatim. <clears throat> so in organ one, we have understood the practical part of use uh, taking and understanding of disease. Now we are starting with the practical part of the medicine, knowledge of medicine. In previous aphorism, we have seen that Anuman has said that I am the first one to open up the path of uh, Drug proving. So we will continue this aphorism number 110. Moreover, I saw that the morbid lesions which previous author had observed to result from medicinal substance when taken into stomach of a healthy person, either in large doses given by mistake or in order to produce death to themselves or other or under 
other circumstances accord very much with my own observation when experimenting with the same substance on myself and other healthy individuals. This author gives the detail of what occurred as a history of poisoning and as a proof of pernicious effect of this powerful substance, chiefly in order to warn others from their use, partly also for the sake of exalting their own skill when under the use of the remedy they employ to combat these dangerous accidents. Healthy <coughs> health gradually returns, but partly also when the person is so affected, die under the treatment in order to seek their own justification for the dangerous character of this substance when they are aware from poison. So, what Master is telling that I was the first to open up the path of the drug growing and I started applying the drug into <coughs> healthy person. Previous author has also done these things, but they have done because of they have used the large doses, or sometimes by the mistake, or sometimes by uh, poisoning, or sometimes by the other sub uh, circumstances. But why? Why? Because they have found found that this substance may be <coughs> produce the poisoning effect, so do not use in the further way. That's why they have written this as that this medicine has the poisonous effect or sometimes after that large dose they died so that this large amount of that medicine can produce a dangerous effect that's why they limit the use of that remedy that is why they have written before the honeymoon that this substance has given to healthy person and they produce a symptoms so none of these observers ever dreamed that the symptoms they recorded merely as a proof of noxious and poisonous character of this substance were sure revelations of the power of this drug to extinguish curatively the similar symptoms occurring in the natural diseases. That this, their pathogenetic phenomena were intimations of the homeopathic curative action and that the only possible way to ascertain the medicinal power is to observe this change of health <coughs> medicines are capable of producing in a healthy organism. For a pure particular power of medicine available for the cure of the disease are to be learned neither by an ingenious or a priori speculation, nor by a smell test or appearance of the drug, nor by their chemical analysis, nor yet by the employment of the several of them at one time in a mixture in a disease, it was never suspected that this history of the medical diseases would one day furnish the first rudiments of the true pure material data, which from the earliest time until now has consisted solely of the false conjectures and the fictions of the imagination, that is to say, do, did not exist at all. So how Master is telling us that the medicine has the power and it has to produce the pathogenic effect and that is the only thing which is helping us to cure the natural disease. So this is what Master is observed in this case and what he said that it is only and only learned by applying to the healthy organism and when it produces a disease. So only and only this way that the drug has been uh, producing the pathogenic power more by just the prior speculation that means this substance is look like this and it is working in this so for example the well walnut is look like a brain brain so walnut is good for the brain it is just a speculation but when walnut is potentized and applied to the brain then we have to find out that this medicine has the capacity to the affection to the brain then it is the right otherwise it is something that the ingenious or prior speculation or sometimes the smell or taste or appearance of the drug can make that this look like this. So it is helpful in this disease. So this is not the things. Or sometimes the chemical analysis that this substance is having using this phenomena. So when we apply to this, this produces chemical reaction in the body and that is the only way that the body is getting the result. So this is not the way we can understand that this remedy is like that. So this is something we have to understand that whenever the only enemy drug which has been applied to the healthy human being, and this healthy human being produces symptoms and that morbid symptom which is recorded in the Matriya Medica in the pure form, and that is the only thing which is helping you into practice. 
not the false conjectures or some fictions of imagination make them so this is something like this and this medicine is like this so this is something the false conjectures and the fictions of imagination do not give the right proving of the medicine so this is something like that so in footnote number 94 says you see what i have said on this subject in the examination of the source of audio imagery of the book which is to the third part of my book okay america yoga so what we have to learn from this wisdom that what master has proved a certain drug that is the only and only drug that is having a pure effect of that and that has to be applied into practice sometimes the newer medicine what master has also said that no need of newer medicine at that time also he has cured many diseases with this the established materialistic remedies but our understanding that the newer medicine is needed for the further but that has to be proven in the pure way and then and then that has to be applied otherwise not again we are reading the uh, book verbatim the workshop conducted by dr kapuriji sir in mahabaleshwar in 2002 so we are continuing with the journey of this in yesterday's session we have learned that uh, how to approach the infant and pediatric cases and in that case we have learned the approach of dr pravin jain he said that uh, sociability activity and distractibility axis so that axis has to be found in the patient and then add the thermal thrust and the basic disposition of the child so you will get the remedy into it so now we will continue further with the chapter 20 so the prof visitor sir has said about the other aspect how to understand the patient so we will continue this <coughs> this chapter is a little bit longer chapter so we will take uh, five cases of this chapter today and the rest of cases tomorrow so that we will continue this chapter tomorrow also so i would like to show you the glimpse of what helps in the history taking and this is very important for a homeopath so what always or always say is that i do not see what mind does not person the physician has to be a keen observer and develop a tendency to pick up something hidden or underlying so that is what very important in each and every case so you should have keep your eye so vigilant like a eagle eye so that you can understand everything in the patients so now let us see understand the observed thing so yesterday we have saw the disease state because the child said food with the animal and we called him a sympathetic so this was the first case what if a deaf and dumb uh, patient comes to you in front of you and what if the comatose patient is there and then after observation we will go to differentiation for the three medica what has helped me in to go from the patient to the three medica via Reporting. So this is what something we have to understand from the case. So video clipping, uh, we don't have video clipping, but we need to understand by the script of this. So this is what what is your observation in general? So by looking that video, so she is very mild, timid, slow and shy. How was she sitting, uh, leaning forward on the table? So this suggests that the anxious and eager to communicate about her problem. someone who is not very confident start reading the patient as soon as he enter the clinic so this is what your observation has to be the way he open the door the way he enter inside and the way he present himself so this is the observation there are people who just walk in and it seem like a whole clinic belong to them and then we have to greet them then they will greet us there are other who will open the door and ask me i come in sir what is the difference between these two the first one is one could be the haughty extroverted confident personality rude or egoistic or the positive person and uh, there are people who are so positive that they do not need any permission comes what may for them how can there be no admissions here i am going to go they have to give me admissions who are you you have to let me in so this is what something is going to the mind of person so that person can be very haughty extroverted confident egoistic or positive personality 
either of any of these. Or there are the persons who are very mild, meek, and timid people. So this is something which we call as a negative kind of personality. <laughs> so let us see the list of rubric which will show us whether the man is positive or uh, negative. So how it represents in the repertory. So when we go to the repertory, we have to look into consideration for the particular rubric so that it helps us to understand that the, how the behavior of the person is and how it is positively behaving or negatively behaving. So this is what something we have to observe. So the courageous person, the bold person, the audacious people, the audacity, the people with the big mouth, not afraid, the positive, a defined kind of personality, the obstinacy, I will do whatever I want, I will not listen to you, this is what obstinacy, the perseverance, the pertinacity, the making plans, then it dictatorial, confidence, assertive, and a strong will. So this is all the rubrics of the will. So these are the positive will personality. There are the negative personality, the negative will personality has a very, very timid kind of personality. The marsh pools, they, they are covered, irresolute, weak will, confidence, want of, exactly opposite, obstinate, the, the submissive, perseverance, the fearful, pertinacity, the anxious, making plans for fear, the negative way, they may be the very cautious because of fear and wants everything on the safer side because he has a fear of future or fear of the failure or sometimes cautious can be positive also. Embarrassment, we are a dominating dictatorial, confidence, we are the discouraged, assertive, the fear of the high places and the strong will will touch ours. So these are the few positive rubrics of the will and the few negative rubrics of the will. So we know whether he belongs to the right or left side. So you start becoming acquainted with the repertory language. There can be something which is neutral, uh, neutral will, neither positive nor negative, like a psychotic cilicia, which is obstinate and yielding also. Or also, the opium is contented or magnesium is timid and contented. So, this is something that they are neutral. Level. So, let us see which are the groups in which you can place them into. So, alumina. So, when we think of alumina, we know that the alumina is a very, very uh, weak will remedy. Uh, head belongs to others. The negative, negative remedy is the slow, timid, and most of the time the country is people. And they confuse their own identity. So much so timid, so much so in their own world that they do not have their ability to throw off the soft tool also. So that is what the physical aspect, that the constipation even of soft tool. So this is what the negative people is. The negative will people is. Ammonium, ammonium is also a negative will people. Why? Because ammonium is very, very timid and covered. There is uh, one common feature which goes from mind to body and I recognize that ammonium from that. There is a very common symptom that he has shortened hamstring, ammonium carb and ammonium fluid. So this shortened tendency is a general. So the courage has been shortened, the tendon, the happiness is also shortened. So this is what happiness is all shortened. That means the person never be happy. So never a smiling face is the ammonium. So I had a man coming to me with a small lipoma on the hand. He was working as a watchman somewhere. He pays his way. His, his pay was not sufficient enough for him to set a home and enjoy. So he wanted to change the work. So he learned driving after he got the license. He did not leave that job. Why? Because of shortage of courage. At the same time, he is not happy with this. In Calcaria, he is happy with this as he is in the cell. So he is paid less. So this is something you have to differentiate from the ammonia and Calcaria. He was discontented and the shortage of happiness. He had a desire for the music. <clears throat> we repertorized the case and gave him ammonium with 31 dose two years back and within eight months all his lipoma disappeared. Then the hypermelanosis also vanished. He was short of everything, happiness, friends, courage, and contentment. So we are in to on the same time. The shortness at, at every level is the ammonium. So this is a will week. So Baraita, Baraita Kavik having a positive and a negative aspect. So uh, the Baraita mostly we can see that it is a female, bashful, and with no confidence. 
Sometimes it may be have a foolish courage to do anything. The brain does not think and they have a misplaced anxiety, the misplaced courage, misplaced fear and intelligence also. So many of the best surgeons are the Baraita. They work very mechanically. One very intelligent sur surgeon from the North Bombay, he said surgeons are the legal rapist. We are doing harm to the body against the will of the body and doing something against will is a rape. The, the per permission to cut is not given to us by the body. This man does not have an intelligence. The Baraita comes with the intellectual and consensus also. So we have a homeopath also who are like that. So Baraita can be intellectual and consensus, but this intellect is not using at a proper level. So this is something we have to understand that it is the something which is not working at that level. So the misplaced something or the misplaced intelligence is the Baraita. One of my friends had referred me a case. Uh, I will tell you how I prescribed for her. This lady was very eminent of his wife. She was a very dashing lady, always on the move, looking up on a success. She already was very successful. She wants to become an owner of a big hospital. Always thinks I should have, should be having the largest hospital in this part of the Asia. They had just installed a new MRI machine. She said, let me see what is inside my ear. As I am getting some humming and itching, the MRI shows that she had a tumor. She was not very much disturbed. The other history was whenever she would get angry or disturbed, she would take her car and go on driving fast, go going on no entry road, not bother about the policeman. If policeman caught her and took her license, she would go to the policeman, snatch her license from him, and tell her him do whatever he wants. So this is a foolish courage. She does not understand the consequences in front of taxi driver. She will remove a bundle of rupees hundred to show them and she is not thinking of the consequences. Once in a fancy dress, she become a Japanese doll. After dressing much, she walks on the road to her house. She is not bothered about what people say. So this is something that something which is weird to the patient and doing without knowing what it is and without not using their intelligence, even though they are so intelligent, then this is called as something different. So this is not actually the courage, the driving fast and going into no entry zones and not bother about the consequences. So this is not actually the courage, but it is something that his mind is not working in a proper way. So it is the indiscretion, means she does not understand the consequences. So this is the psychotic shallow or a psychosis meeting. Such people go for the operations without the anxiety. Indiscretion is equated by the can't as a circumvention lack of. So in our brain is working like a computer, trying to analyze the situation. And in this patient or in this person, where there is the indiscretion, this is lacking. So analysis is lacky. So this is seen in the word and the action also. Such people can be insensitive to the moral codes. They reveal the secret and confide knowingly. So they are the baraita and we also know that baraita are the male. So they can also be bashful with the lower intellect. <coughs> One lady, so this is something that foolish courage goes into indiscretion is the positive point in the Baraita. But we know that Baraita is very, very female, bashful and dull intellect remedy. So one lady told me one day, I am so much afraid that now war has started in the Iraq and Iran. Now everything will go there. There will be no milk here. All buffaloes and cow will go there. What will my child drink? You know, the person is living in Mumbai and thinking about that there was a war in Iraq and Iran and every, everything will be shortened or there is no milk supply or buffalo cow will go there. So what will my child bring? So this is something called the anxiety there, but the anxiety is not proposed to this. So this is what misplaced anxiety. I'm just giving you this example. This is what Sir is giving the example. This example also given in the uh, Material America book, Baraita, Genetic Material America in Baraita. So I know one man who my brother had referred to me for the process of the eye. 
after giving history for one hour, he said, Doctor, first give me treatment for my piles. He could not open his eyes and want the treatment of piles. So, this is something that the gravity of the situation, if the person cannot understand of a disease also, then also you can think that it is the indiscretion and it is the parieta. So, for example, the patient comes to you with the complaint of the cancer or some psychosomatic disorders, and the patient is telling you that don't so this will remain okay. I don't and I don't care about, but you will treat me this spot on my skin, so this will look very bad. So this is something you have to understand. This is a misplaced anxiety, and that is what something that indiscretion at the level of mind. One lady referred to me uh, with the pampigus. She did not want to get married because my sister has married just now and now I am sure that this man will be troubling her. So the question was, is he troubling her? Patient says, no, no, but I am sure he is going to. Doctor says, but how do you know that he will? The patient says, every man troubles his wife. So this is not the logical answer and the patient is not giving the logical answer. That is something that the, is... Uh, intelligence is not working in a proper way. This is the complete confidence in the something abstract and this is misplaced anxiety of Baraja. So, there is an over confidence of abstractness that is also something which we call as the indiscretions. Again, the Baraita has a delusion that the legs are cut off. This means he is so sure that he cannot do anything. He learned driving and got a license but will not drive the car. I will not be able to drive. I know it. I will not be able to control. He feels he does not have legs only. My legs are cut off. How will I walk? This is the wrong conclusion. This is wrong conclusion. It is a misplaced. He feels people are laughing at me. This is also misplaced understanding. So here, he learn everything, but he feels that I cannot do it. This is the wrong conclusion. So again, it is a misplaced. He feels the people are laughing at me. This is also a misplaced understanding, giving rise to the misplaced emotions. So find out the reason for what delusion that delusion. The people are laughing at me could be out of suspiciousness also. The another remedy that is calcarea. So the negative part of calcarea in the wheel is the only care. one calcarea is positive, that is calcarea self. This is the only remedy which is courageous. So we get the different shades of the remedy from the materia medica. So this materia medica we are deriving from the repertory. I remember the calcarea as anxiety, anticipation, wanting a shell, chili, and thirsty. The story calcarea cab is timid, anxious, etc. Then comes the sensitivities. This is a sore. In a college, we are taught the psychotic calcarea calf that is a fat, flabby, faces, weak bone, exosomatic, etc. So, calcarea calf is a chalk. When it is fall down, it has to be dragged. So brittle, they are weak. There is no strength. So, they are afraid that if something happened to me tomorrow, what will happen to my family? So, they accumulate the money, 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 money. So, these are money minded. And they become charitable, they are not believing, they appear like they, they uh, because they want friendship of others, good opinion of others, and want their protection for the health. So, charitable in this calcarea carb is something that they want something in return as a protection. So, that the rubric is charitable with the expectations of recompense of you. This is the motive behind it. There is a motive behind it. There is also the syphilitic calcarea carb where the osteoporosis starts, bending of the bones, spine, typhosis, not psychotic exostosis, and no inflammatory tendency of the sora. There is the aversion to the mental work, the fact out, loss of will, suicidal disposition, strange action. She is doing this with the purpose of being different. There is either slowness or running about. <coughs> We will hold for a five minute I had an emergency call.
So this is something the syphilitic one. In syphilis, the desire for the magnetism because of the protections. Phosphorus magnetism is because of lack of electrical energy. They are energy deprived and they want this energy from others. This is the energy transfer. We know the PK. So PK took the energy of the person and know that. But it's like the movie, but it is not like that. Telkiria carb is something like a puddle. He wants bodily support and protection. They are chilly and thirsty <coughs> with desire for the sweet and the cold things. Dr. Kent mentions in Calgary Cup that any man who likes cold drinks, sweet, and is thirsty for ice cold water, the first remedy you think of Calgary Cup. See whether the disposition is timid or not, see whether he is fragile or not, see whether he is sensitive or anticipatory or not. <coughs> so you have to keep everything into it. Believe it or not, this type of your picture will work wonder and give you the hearing flow of cure. So in that case, we have to deduce some trait of the person and on the basis of uh, repertory, we can understand how the calculator evolved from sorry state to psychotic state to the syphilitic state. So Sir always says homeopathy is not difficult, it is so easy. So this short materia medica can lead you to the remedy. When I find the psychotic calcarea cup, I ask them as a confirmatory. When you are walking on the road, do you pass by your friends without recognizing them? This is a fantastic entry into Calcaria, which we are often miss because the man is dull and does not give anything of the Calcaria car. He says that I had a dream somewhere in the past and that I was thrown out of my job. After that dream, this man is so dazed that he goes on thinking and thinking. I told you that the mind of Calcaria car is like hang up computers. He just goes crazy and keeps thinking about that particular thought. And I am looking at them, but I do not recognize them because my mind is somewhere else. So this is something that the Calcaria carb is psychotic. Female with the profuse menses who are chilly, thirsty, with desire for the sweet and cold drinks, start thinking about the Calcaria carb. Then try the confirmatory rubric. Physical makeup, the squarish face with the tapering skin, the sensitive people have tapering skin and the tail growing <coughs> children, tall growing children, it is not tail, it is a tall growing children with the stoop. The psychotic calcarea carb is fat, heavy, flare and heavy rounded face with excessive perspirations. If with the above feature, if the patient is thirsty, we go to the calcarea carb and if he is a thirstless, we go to the calcarea first. But here the activity will be different between the phosphorus air to the activity. So calcarea carb is slow, whereas calcarea carb is with a is little fast due to phosphorus. In calcarea mule, a very iron rich collagen and calcarea ailment is more, it is more chilly than the muriaticum ailment is more, it is more thirsty. When mother is only an attachment and it is hot drug, and when he wants mother as a shell, he is a chilly, the muriatic is the indication and muriaticum has the sun aggravation is marked. So added to mother is a muriaticum and when protection comes it is the carbonicum. <coughs> calcarea self so calcarea self given as a chili by the Fatak and Clark whereas some other book mentioned it is as a hot because of the sulfur element. So I suspect if the sulfur element is more then it will be a hot and if the calcarea is more it will be towards chili. So this is what calcarea self. Mostly calcarea self is hot. There are some controversial remedies which are hot as well as chilly. I would like you to uh, all of to go into detail of this and tell me the remedy like carcinosin can be chilly hot, baraita mule can be chilly hot, red from al can be chilly hot, entin crude mostly hot but can be chilly also. Tarantula can be chilly hot, mercury, you know, the instability at the thermal, so it can be chilly hot. Natrum carb is chilly, but sometimes it can come to be hot or endothermal also. Phenobreeds are the endothermal. So these are the remedies you can go into this endothermal or chilly hot remedy. So Gibson Miller gives only four remedies as endothermal is mercury, natrum carb, uh, antique brood, and cinnabarine. Most of the hysterical remedy can be aggravated by the both. The reaction is more and too much. So sometimes it 
hysterical patient, you cannot get either uh, thermal proper. So just uh, show you another video clipping, video clipping number one, which is a female who come in with the chief complaint of the fever since one day and she is crying. So, so a hysterical weeping remedy will come up. The husband says yesterday she was very so fine, laughing, talking and fighting and the two days she is come down with the fever. On further inquiry, I asked, why do you have to cry so much? She said, I fall asleep every year at this particular time and I am admitted to the hospital. What if I fall ill this year also? So here we get the hysteria, weeping, periodicity and anticipation. Just put them and repertorize. She was a hot patient. If it is in acute, the remedy which comes up has to be in relation to the constitutional remedy. This is not ailment from anticipation, it is only anticipation. Generally, I do not treat such conditions acutely, but as she is in a hysteria, I cannot just leave her like that. She might go and commit suicide. So, what remedy which comes up are the tuberculin, Fuga, Natramur, and Lycobolin. Her constitutional was Sepia. Her constitution was Sepia. So, I had cured her ulcerative quality two years back with a single dose of the Sepia. It never recur again. So, what remedy has to be given now is the relation to the Sepia, that is the Natramure and Hysteria. When you think of the Lycopodium is right-sided remedy, Tuberculinum is also right-sided, the Suja and Natramure are the left-sided remedy. So, they go into Hysteria. So, here in relation to the Sepia is the method. You show how she cannot live in front of other and hide her prayer. So this is something you have to observe. This is the observation. Another video clipping. Observe this couple and tell me your observation of both of them. So husband says, I am getting irritation. And the wife says, this is nothing. He gets very loud one and she is laughing. He got this irritation from the Ahmedabad. Find it me away from the Bombay. And she is laughing loudly. Ha, ha, ha. I am asking question to the husband and the wife is answering. So this is something that you have to observe. Dr. Vijay got to husband, why do you go to the Ahmedabad? Wife says for darshan, the holy pilgrimage. Dr. Vijay got to husband, do you like to go for religious tour? Wife says, yes, I like to go. Ha, ha. <clears throat> so, Vijaykar, what is your observation now? Wife is an extrovert, expressive and vivacious. The husband is an introvert. Will is completely negative in him. He is very silent and reserved. What is peculiar now? See her laughing continuously. She is jesting. Now she is, now, uh, now should we take jesting or jovial? What is the meaning? The jesting is making fun of others. She is making fun of her husband. If she were constantly laughing, then I would have taken laughing general. Mocking is not jesting. It is more malicious. You are trying to put someone down. It is more of sarcasm. Jesting with a malicious intention, it is more of syphilitic in nature. So, sir, give an example. The Johnny Lever film artist try to imitate everybody. It is not mocking. It is just imitating and the Shaker Suman is mocking. So, Shaker Suman is giving a... This is what sir has given idea. Frivolous is taking everything lightly or not seriously. She is not taking other part of the life. Uh, she is not taking the other part of the life lightly. Child who are not interested in exam, their family life, etc., can be taken as a frivolous. So this is what very important learning. Here she is listening and wherever she can, she can trying to make a joke out of it. So this is something you have to observe from the. Patient. So, this is a jesting, not the mocking, not the sarcasm and everything, or not the frivolous. Another uh, uh, video clipping, I am skipping this because as soon as he realizes he is being videoed, he becomes more conscious. Otherwise, this man would come and sit on the chair as if he is the king. He would sometimes sit with his foot up, but he was different than he came in front of the camera. So, the rubric is humility appearing in public. So, you have to observe that when you have started that, starting the camera, the attitude of the person has been changed that he become a timid on appearing in the public. So, this is you have to observe, a small observation. 
he will talk of so many things before telling me his complaint. He goes completely round and round. He will ask you something nonsensical questions. He will describe some other situation before telling about his health, which he again is anxious about. He does not come straight to the point. What is this? So this is something you have to observe. Want to be the familiar? Yes, this is one of the very strong rubric. He is telling me he had gone for the holiday and what had happened to his friend, etc. This is not relevant to the subject, but it is not an irrelevant talk. The rubric is loquacious about unimportant matters. Unfortunately, as soon as we started the video, we could not get a clear picture as another state come up. Once he came to his point, he will go on and on in detail and not let you not let you talk. He will say, let me finish first. So there are so many characters which he did not show us. When a Lachesis comes to a new environment in front of new people, he is very timid, afraid, and that you might harm him. But if he is there for a long time, then he becomes the king as if he is a boss. He does he does, he come and sit now with the feet up and say, yes, tell me, sir, take care of your health. How long will this go on like that? But as soon as the camera comes, he again changes. So this is what, what the perception of the lectures is. She is being watched or she is being spied upon. So that, at that time, they started being timid. So this is, this is hard on inferior and soft on superior, somewhere which is unknown. He is very much timid, but once he knows that the person is not going to harm him, he is the boss and will give you advice. So this is something which we understood from the extrovertedness of the lapses. Again, if you see the rubric like the garulous, loquacious, talk, police, and irrelevant, you will come across a beautiful remedy called as Paris quadriphobia. The above patient was not talking foolishly or was not talking anything irrelevant. He was talking relevant about my health, about my wife's position, etc. <clears throat> when you start getting a hint of foolishness, start thinking of the remedy, Paris, for recovery. I had a nice case which I have shown before also. This is a case of a doctor who came to me with the complaint of the tumor. I am doctor. This is this, this. MR, CS, FR, CS, PSB, MD, and I am practicing since last 40 years. I am the best physician in that area. I have treated so many patients. Your father is my chum. Your grandfather was my patient. There is no one else who has so much experience. I have cured plenty of the people. I just put my hand like that and make a diagnosis even without an USG and you can from it. My diagnosis was correct. When my wife expired, I told my son she is not going to come back again. So what do you infer here? This is an ailment of the foolishness. But foolishness is showing that the egoism. So egotism, self-esteem, residing there, explore. So he had done this, this, this. So this is what he has recited. So he is talking about his business. He always talks about, I have done this. I have, I have this, this type of patient that I have it a lot of patients and everything. So this is what he is talking about the business. And he is showing that this business is big. So he is reciting his expertise and the speech is jerky. So whenever you found this type of the patient who is extroverted and showing this egotism, reciting their business or uh, egotism, talked of their exploit, what he had done and having a jerky speech, the remedy was the agricus. So this is what the agricus now let us see the mephitis. We know the mephitis only as a cough remedy, but I have cured arthritis with this. This is a marked sensitivity to moonlight, either mental or the physical. Uh, it is not aggravated by the moon phase. It is element from the moonlight that is being exposed and going down in the moonlight, whether full moon or the half moon. It had a case of I had a case of rheumatoid arthritis where when the patient would go out in the night, his pain would get aggravated. So I asked him if it is the warmth of the house that emulated or the season outside that aggravated the summer or the winter, or is it while going out during the daytime or only at night time? All these were ruled out. So this is what the sensitivity to moonlight is the indications of mephitis. 
Entim brood, entim brood becomes sentimental in the moonlight. He makes verses in the moonlight. This is psychotic as half of it as a lie. Another video clipping. Uh, this video clipping shows that this is a young boy of 13 years, uh, very tall, huge, fat, with a slight stoop. <coughs> he is very slow to walk, well mannered, cautious, and well behaved, all because he is timid. He is awkward and slow. He came with the complaint of the huge fistula, which was operated but not healed since two years, and also with the gynecomastia. What is the remedy? He is a chilly, thirsty, with the desire for the sweet. So gynecomastia is effeminate. Also see the way he walks and talks. Also this 13 years old guy would always come accompanied by his mother. So the remedy given was Calcarea because the timid wants protection like effeminate, feminine, awkward and slow, tall, well-developed, growth and slight stoop. The remedy prescribed was Calcarea drop. So by looking into this, we can understand the aspect of the behavior and the dispositions of the person by just observing that person. Again, the platina is effeminate when it goes to the secretive state. It is the male who looks effeminate, can be a platina and lycopodium. In female, there can be either too much sexual desire or no desire at all. One should pick up effeminate. We ruled out so many other remedies. This is Syphilitic. Even well mannered people can be if even at a sudden slight motions of the head will indicate this is a neck movement of the males and females are the different. So, this is something you have to understand that the movement of the person's neck movement also indicates that this behavior is a masculine or behavior is a feminine. So, uh, in the old movie, you have seen that uh, Salman Khan movie, the one character when playing the cricket. Uh, they are moving in a different way. So, these moves are effeminate, the male moving effeminately. So, this is something you have to think of. This is syphilitic in nature. Another video clipping. This, <coughs> this is the female patient who came in the complaint of the fainting in the crowd in a church while praying. My husband has hypertension, diabetes, and a kidney failure. Ha ha ha. Tell, while telling, she is laughing. I get giddiness and what I go, ha, ha, ha. If you move, even I will move with you, ha, ha, ha. This is what something that the person is laughing, telling one sentence and laughing, telling one sentence and laughing, telling one sentence and laughing. So everything taken so lightly. This is not laughing while talking. See her natural trait further. When I was a small, I was a tomboy. I would never enter the house through the door, but would enter through the window. We were a gang of girls who would roam with the boys in a short pant. <coughs> My name was also on the blacklist. That man has expired. Ha ha ha. Again, the situations, you have to understand the situation, the word and his behavior. She is then describing what her sister had, uh, her sister told about her husband. Your hair is false, your nose is false, your face is false, everything is false. Ha ha ha. So why is she laughing after telling you everything is false? Her thoughts are less serious. I was riding a cycle and went into someone's lungi, a loose petticoat. I told this to my husband and my child also. I told my husband when we were operated, they must have put a false kidney inside and laughed. So this is what something the behavior of the patient. I love to dance and to swim. I have won a lot of prize in a dancing any types of the dance, I just want to freak out. This is syphilitic. I love to talk only to the boys. I have a lot of boyfriends. Even her child knows that she has boyfriend. Says, my husband is a jealous. I care hang. I care a hang about him as long as he gives me a freedom. She goes on and on like this cracking messages, jokes. Any slightest thing she will call up the clinic and come and is better with the slack leg only. She is a hot patient and appetite is very good. Now, what are we assessing her as? Yes. So her miasm is something that is she is freak out, she goes to boyfriends and everything, she is laughing, which is not in control. And so this is something that she goes into psychosomatic state of mind. 
So she is first and foremost, she is a hysterical, so talks little and laughs more. So this is hysterical. The second point, she is talking a shameless thing. She is not bothered about what she is saying. So this is a shameless thing. She's athletic in nature. Can dance non-stop with the frenzy, frivolous. This is psychotic excess. Hot and hungry, not gourmand as this is very small rubric. And what her speech is like. So let us see the different type of the speeches when she uh, see what feeds her the most. So speech bombast. So what is the bombast? So I would refer one of the understanding that whenever you uh, see uh, Kapil Sharma shows and whenever you show the Kapil Sharma shows and you show the judge and that judge is giving you uh, rhymes and everything in a inflated way in a high sounding language that is something called as a talk bombast so we have the idea so talk bombast a speech bombast is a worthless inflated turgid high sounding language it is exaggerated this is either a psychotic or psycho syphilitic for example i had a male patient he wanted to wish me happy birthday he sent me a card which read something like may the destiny which rules produce a man Seeds in the ova may produce an embryo with the will of time and destiny for you to be born on this day. So you have to scratch your brain to know and understand what he intend to tell you. This is the speech bombast is. Okay. Talk ecstatic. So ecstatic is a full of emotions. <clears throat> it is positive emotions, the highest degree of the joy, a state in which the mind is arrested and piqued or a lost. A state in which functioning of the senses are suspended by the contemplations and of some extraordinary or a supernatural object. So it is arrest and the fixed senses are suspended. This is the out of control. It is a frank syphilitic. The above patient will still, above patient still has her control. She goes up and down, going to syphilis and coming down to the psychosis again. So it is not the talk ecstatic. Talk exuberant, the super abundance, especially of uh, something abstract and overflow, profuse overgrowth or a protuberance and a copiousness. This is purely a uh, psychotic. Talk excited, a state of being roused into actions and having increased actions, roused, awakened, and stimulated or animated. So, excitement is from the stimulus and it is need not necessarily be a gain. This is a talk excited, talk prattling. The patient only knows what she is talking. This is a frank syphilitic. So many times from the talk itself, we are lead to the mental general from there. So we combine it with the thermal thrust and are led to the remedy. Talk vivacious. So person is lively, active, animated or a gay in the temper and the conduct. This has to do more with the demeanor and less to do with the actual deed. Then the high spirited, fearful, and the gay. This is the reaction coming automatically from within. In our patient, there is a joy and she is animated and the gay. So we take the talk vivacious. Let us combine with the talk vivacious plus the hysterical plus the frivolous and the shamelessness. The remedy came up is electasis, hyoscyamus, stamonium, belladonna, moscus, and <laughs> agricus. As we know, the agricus is ruled out as there is no junkiness in her speech. Agricus patient makes a mountain of the mole hill. A small teaspoon looks like an ocean. So this is something you have to think of. Like a pahar bananas. That is an agricus. Because he has the delusion that the small crazy is a big valley. Agricus is not very lively, always have a problem with the control. So, agricus acts on the nervous system and the control has been lost. Belladonna. So, belladonna is a chili congested cardiovascular system would have been the topmost uh, effect as a fear of action. The bindas, the free and the frank relationship of the child and her mother shows that she is not in a frenzy. Belladonna is devil when sick and when angry. Belladonna ladies can beat up their children in anger. Belladonna like jumpy, bouncy dance and it is coquettish but does not like to freak out also. Also, there is a desire for lemonade which is not there in these patients. So, the belladonna is also ruled out. 
lactases lactases is not covering the most important rubric of the shamelessness also the lactases is very loquacious jumping from one subject to another about himself or his disease about others or any religious topic or on senseless or nonsense matter it is very quick witted and intelligent persons so in quick witted intelligent persons we have phosphorus ammonium opium copia hal simons lacmentus veritrum cannabis sativa cannabis indica someone who is ready to argue at the drop of hat intellect going towards excess in witty <laughs> the moscus she is not that very hysterical she is more on the joyous frivolous side rather than on the angry side the paris quadrifolia the paris she is not talking irrelevant and garrulous she is trying to explain herself another is stamonium stamonium is more violent vivacious active keen timid but the panic and anguish is much more in the stamonium she was given stamonium before she would become okay and then relapse again so the 1m 10m 50m all were tried despite giving the right remedy if you have to repeat it or to go higher and yet the medicine does not work then the medicine is wrong so this is what to keep in mind the top point so despite giving the right remedy if you have to repeat it or go higher and yet the medicine does not work then that medicine is wrong this is a clear cut indication so another remedy that is very close but does not came on repertorization is lacmentus this is the mixture of stamonium plus hyoscyamus plus lacmentus the peculiarity is the eloquence the command of the speech and the language and thoughts so much so that they cannot lose any debate so here whenever the we think of eloquent people we have a lacmentus opium cannabis sativa <coughs> they like to argue they talk like a master on any subject but are basically very indolent like to sleep profound sleep great loquacity and afterward stupid and irritable their debate going on to such an extent that they go on arguing stupidly and irritably this is again the socratic trend generally these patients are highly irious become excited at trifles loquacious and very sleepy if elocution goes to more hilarity with the syphilitic aspect <coughs> then think of cannabis sativa vivacious has to be in the mental and the physical plane so here the remedy prescribed was lacmentus another remedy that is the combination of the stamonium hyoscyamus and lactasis with the elocution uh, command on the speech and language the lacmentus was the remedy given so we conclude today's day here and we will continue from the uh, video clipping 6 from tomorrow hope you learn so this is what just a reading uh, if possible i will show you some video of the talk so that you can get idea that how this talk is like so that talk is giving you idea that this person talk in this way so that is what something you get the idea that this talk is something like that so we have a book Uh, frequent encounter and in which sir has divided two categories that extroverted kind of personality introverted kind of personality and in extroverted personality sir has given lot of talks and the rubrics of the talk so on the basis of the person is behaving in front of you and person is talking in front of you and then you get an idea that the according to that talk the remedy has been picked up and the thermal thrust has been added so this is what the very very clear can understand the observation is supported by the things so today's learning from this session is sir always want that you have to observe the person the entry of the person the talk of the person and how he behave in front of you in the clinic so that is the idea that help you to understand the man's nature so we will conclude our today's sessions here thank you so much <clears throat> thank you all we will continue tomorrow with the same session thanks a lot <clears throat>